Hello! Today we shall be talking about slash just like, I don't want to really say reviewing, but just a general overview of the show Legends of Tomorrow. This was a video I wanted to make earlier, but then I got sidetracked with a lot of other things. I already made a video for uh, Batwoman because it got cancelled, and same with Legends of Tomorrow, and I pretty much wanted to make this just to show that Legends of Tomorrow, I, I felt like it had an impact, and I feel like it definitely should end on its terms and not just being flat out cancelled. So I do hope that it gets um, like renewed slash picked up just for uh, like a two hour mini event or a uh, ten episode like a limited series just to close it off. But anyway, without further ado, shall we begin? If you watch my Arrowverse stuff, you do know that all my Arrowverse shows are kept right here. And instead of pulling out all six seasons that I own of Legends of Tomorrow, because the seventh season is not out on uh, DVD slash Blu-ray yet, I'm just going to show them how I have them over here instead of taking them all out and then trying to make sure I remembered where they all went. So anyway, let's go over them. So... In here we go. Let's pack it, and here we go. We'll start off with uh, Legends of Tomorrow, the complete first season. This is definitely a season where um, a lot of people kind of felt like it was still finding its footing and all that, and I do enjoy the season quite a bit, but this was a season that took itself uh, pretty seriously within the only series uh, season of the show. I'm not saying that's a bad thing whatsoever, because uh, season one is actually still one of my favorite seasons of the show, but it is the show, uh, the season that took itself very seriously. And I actually thought Vandal Savage was a great villain. And then Legends of Tomorrow, the complete second season. This was a season that brought in uh, the Legion of Doom. We got Damien Dark, Reverse Flash, and um, da uh, well, John Barrowman's character, Malcolm Merlin. Don't know why I couldn't think of it. And he does, a, like, it was a great uh, season. This is actually my favorite season of uh, Legends of Tomorrow, which we'll go through all of them. And um, But it doesn't have my favorite episode, ironically. So, that is uh, Legends of Tomorrow Season 2. Then we got Legends of Tomorrow Season 3, which uh, brought in a few other characters. And Season 3 does entitle my uh, favorite episode, and that is uh, the season finale, which pretty much had a giant, uh, spoiler alert if you're not caught up on Legends, but it had giant Bebo versus Mollus, the demon, and it was just so, so much fun to watch. John Noble played Mollus while voiced him even in an episode. It was like, guest starring John Noble. Like, the, that's just how meta Legends got, and I actually, I just loved it, and I was here for it. And then after that, we're gonna go all the way over here, and then we got Legends of Tomorrow, the complete fourth season that as you could see that's when they uh, really started involving john constantine in it and it, it's just a it's a great season and i love the uh, white canary suit right there and uh ray palmer was still in the season too and it's just uh, got over the top and i absolutely loved it and i thought it was a great great time and then the fifth season, this is actually my favorite cover from the show, uh, out of all the uh, covers that they've done throughout the years, like for uh, cover-wise, talking strictly about like for seasons, and as you can see, it just has like this 80s feel, like a cheesy 80s action movie, probably directed by Quentin Tarantino, you could definitely see that was kind of like the feel of it, so you can see DC's Legends of Tomorrow, and then it has all the characters there, and Sarah Lance, and John Constantine just back there, like cigarettes up and all that, but that's the fifth season. And then, wait a second. All right. The sixth season, which is the last one that I own, is right here. This is the Alien season, and this season was a whole lot of fun, too. And this was uh, the season where we got to, uh, spoiler alert, say goodbye to John Constantine, and I was very happy with the way that they ended his arc. And in the seventh season, he got to play a different character, which I enjoyed just as much, but you cannot me uh, be... Um, Matt Ryan as John Constantine. I feel like he definitely embodied that character the best, and nobody will be able to outdo what he did with the character. But that's pretty much just me going through the seasons. Now, let's talk a little bit about uh, some of my favorite episodes from Legends. So, some of my favorite moments from Legends is actually what I meant to say, but I uh, messed up in the last part. But for some of my favorite moments is actually this is from the second season. It did include the Legion of Doom, and the way that uh, Damien Dark, uh, not Damien Dark, sorry, um, Malcolm Merlin just walked right up to him. He's like, we're here for the Spear of Destiny. And then he's like, where is it? 
uh, just the way that he screamed at him, like, it was just, it was so, so much fun, and, um, one of my all-time favorite episodes, besides, um, the season three finale, which is, uh, Camelot 3000, I just, I've watched this episode multiple, multiple times, I feel like it is an amazing episode, and it's, this is definitely a show that has, like, prevailed throughout the years, it got renewed instantly like that all the time, and it was just, it's such a fun show to be, like, it, it knew what it was, it was meta, it was over the top, it was ridiculous in the best way possible, and I really, I really felt like this is a show that should have ended on its own terms, now it did kind of have, like, a series finale type of episode that kind of felt like a series finale, at least to me, but then the next episode brought in Booster Gold, and then the Time Demon, uh, the uh, the time police and all that, and they left it off. I know, uh, they said that was a last-ditch effort to, uh, help, uh, get it renewed, and I really, I really wish that it did get renewed, but it sadly did not, and, um, this show will be missed, and one of my all-time favorite villains from this show was definitely, uh, Damien Dark. He just kept popping up to the point where he even got redemption, like, he ended up sacrificing himself for his, uh, daughter, and, uh, I want to say it was season... Five? I could be wrong. If I am wrong, let me know down in the comments below. I probably am. But um, the way that he sacrificed himself, I really did enjoy. Like, he killed himself with that uh, sword, and it was, it was sad. And um, Damien is actually one of my favorite characters from the Arrowverse. Whenever he pops up, I am super happy to see it, because I, I think Neil McDonough is a great actor. If he's in the movie, I'll watch it. Like, I watched The Warrant and Apex with him in it, just because. And let's talk about how um, Sarah Lance was just a like, um, one of the side characters in Arrow, and end up, uh, spinning off into the own show, and it was just so, so, so much fun to watch, and I really wish that she got to do, uh, just to do a, a season, fin uh, series finale, and got to end the character on her terms, instead of just flat out being cancelled, because Sarah Lance is one of those characters that has prevailed throughout all the years, somehow, some way, she's prevailed throughout all the years, and I was like, I, like, it's impressive what they managed to do with a side character in the DC Comics, too, like Black Canary, she was um, always like a big part of Green Arrow's story, but that's it, but they managed to do with it in the Arrowverse, just have her branch out into her own thing, and I really, really do wish that uh, this got a series finale, if you did too, let me know down in the comments below, but I do wish that it got saved, I am kind of disappointed that it didn't, but I am very happy that this show got seven seasons, it is very impressive for a show to get seven seasons, and I was very, very impressed with its run, I've enjoyed every episode that they did, because they were meta, and they known about it, and I still defend the first season, I know a lot of people thought the first season was just okay, but I really did enjoy it, and I enjoyed uh, Vandal Savage as a villain, I do like how they brought him back later on, and pretty much just to play Jenga with Ray Palmer, like, it was just, that was the type of show it was, and it was just so, so much fun, but anyway, I do hope that they end up uh, saving this show, hashtag save legends of tomorrow, but anyway, that is just my general, just not really review, just overview of legends of tomorrow, and how much I've enjoyed it, and my favorite season, Seasons of DC's Legends of Tomorrow. So, let me know what your favorite season is down in the comments below, and let me know what your favorite episode is as well down in the comments below. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so I know to keep making more of these. If you have any video requests, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply. If I did reply, that doesn't mean it's being made. I just haven't gotten around to it because I am, like, uh, just super busy with the tons of things, and I just do this on the side, but I want to keep making videos because I really do enjoy it, and I enjoy talking about these things because I absolutely love watching these things. But anyway, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye!